good morning to all as part of one day one tool today we are discussing the tool name is called julius.ai we are going to do the data analysis only the prompting made for the analysis and as well as the one more thing is possible we can able to make it as a visual representation of the data right so the main purpose this is an ai powered data analysis tool designed simply data exploration statistic analysis it working with the machine learning interface and be background and one more good things about this here no code is needed but the back end is working with r and python only this particular tool the back end is r and python those who like to run the program with r you can use this because even you can modify this uh, program whether you want r or python so this way uh, it is helping us this are the the purpose we are using the julius.ai one is actually the data analysis particularly is focus on the explore data analysis and hypothesis testing you can go with this even regression analysis or in the fact analysis but everything is based on the prompting after uploading data you need to know how to ask the prompting always suppose it doesn't ever have out as a prompt no problem just you can copy paste your research question when you type the research question or when you copy and paste the research question automatically give this insight based on the data which you imported and the second one automated repeated task so is doing analysis very fast not like spss because spss we need to click the path and other things takes time suppose you are taking the wrong path also we cannot get this results on that but it's giving very fastly with the use of the prompting itself and the enabler enable not coders so do, if there is no coding skill also not then you should with the prompting only is uh, helping us enhancing productivity reduce the time spent so this are the basic purpose uh, we are like to use this kind of julius ai as always i am highlighted this this supporting with r and python coding base only and other one this are the usage while using the julius ai exploit data analysis even the predictive model suppose you want to go the regression or exploit factor analysis confirmative factor analysis everything based on the prompting just you can upload the data and you can ask the prompting and visualization suppose you have the doubt what kind of graphic representation possible whether you like to go with a bar chart or a pie chart or in the case of um uh, scatter diagram or in the case of string lift as we discussed no any kind of graphic representations may be provide and data cleaning suppose when uploading some of data you may be miss while typing but this is the particular tool is checking whether you uploaded the data is perfect or not and document reporting even this report i mean the end of the interpretations comes with an ap format the table also just to copy and paste write the interpretations okay and hypothesis testing as already mentioned this it's helping to do all the analysis t anova uh, chi square test suppose you want to go with a non parametric like chi square test man with u test or any kind of non parametric test possible but you must to as a prompt so this is way the usage uh, of this julius the similarly these are the core functions and uh, i just highlight the point natural language data analysis what is called natural language data analysis based on our questions only is give this response right only just you can copy and paste or you can just type your research question based on the research question based on the data is give the responses and i just going to do the demo this is an interface of julius.ai it is totally is a data analysis software yesterday we discussing the jamovi jasp it's we need some kind of skill is basic skills in it here only thing can import and ask the prompting one more things please kindly check the response which you provide by julius is correct or not for this you can connect with any kind of statisticians it's always good because we cannot believe blindly on this kind of software and when you go with this the first time user you can go with the sign up with your uh, gmail account the first time user can go with this gmail account then it already done it here sign in options go to the enter julius when you go to the enter julius this is the interface this is the interface and very simple user interface the same like chat gpt at gemini similar kind of interface you are finding the plus symbol no this plus symbol for adding the data upload it fine for example yesterday i shared some file suppose you want to upload if i just click and uh, directly go to the path, the particular path Uh, the location and just select this automatically it comes there or google drive or personal one drive or work or a school drive so like this plenty of way we can upload your file so it's helping to upload your file even the connect resources we have the different uh, connect resources also there so this are the uh, options we can upload here data suppose i'm just add so once you add it you can find this data sets in the interface 
Now you can see that the Excel is uplo updated. I mean uploaded. So you can wait for few minutes. Now the entire data set is there. The yesterday we uploaded no same gender, qualification, locality, uh, college type, all kind of data set is there. Now the thing is that even you does not know what kind of data which is available in the particular data set. You can see the right side clarification. It's automatically gives the file contain of survey data, the students, including the gender qualification, locality management. It gives some kind of represent like a word representation. What is the data set is uh, inside? Even you don't much time, just you can read you may get some idea. Then after this, you want to do the analysis. Suppose you does not know what kind of prompting is better, what kind of uh, what is that uh, research question fine to do this. For this also we have the option. You can see this above. There's a question that's already emerged. Are you able to see this? Based on my data sets, default this particular A tool is already suggests some kind of research questions. If you want to go with your research question, you can go with your research question, or you can go with this questions. Yeah, once again it's uploaded. So this for the table, this for the plot. Suppose you want to draw a plot also, we can possible. And one more thing, as I already mentioned this, the R and Python. Suppose you want to run with Python or you want to run with R, you can select this program. Suppose I like to go with R and just go into the R. I am asking this basic prompting here. Okay. Describe the descriptive statistics and meaningful and meaningful graphic representation of the data. Data like um, box plot. Then I am asking the histogram. So this graph I am just asking and just enter. So when you start enter, so the data connected. Now the things are started running. Now the Julie is thinking now. You are getting the coding. What is the code? It is an R based code. So now the code is running now. You can see this down. The code started running. So once again generating a code. Because I asked the two prompting. One is the descriptive statistics. Other one is I am asking about the that graphic representation therefore everything may be running now after this you can see for everything box plot for histogram everything there is a run the R coding so if you want to run with the R software just to copy this and uh, uh, paste it and just you can run it the end of the things you are getting this yeah so now you can see this what is this one there is a box plot there is a box plot it is based on gender male female what is the variable intelligence i'm showing this other one okay if you specify it may be provide yeah suppose i'm going to ask the the t test i'm just asking this um is there is is there is there any significant difference difference between male and female in the achievement this is my research question once again i may enter it is basically a t-test hypothesis now we can see whether the the julius a dot a is giving this exactly yeah now you can see this i didn't ask whether i can do the t-test or f-test or anova what is the t-test score the test statistic t approximately 4.02 which degrees of freedom is 322 uh, and p-value is approximately 7.19 and the common significance 0 0.05 and we can see this that mean achievement scores of males is about 77.88 while females it is about 75.60 the 95 confidence present confidence level of the degree range is approximately 1.17 the 3.2 3.40 indicating the males tend to scores higher on the achievements than females this is difference statistically significant. It gives this interpretation also. Suppose I want to do the regression analysis. You can see this. Provide a regression analysis. Analysis. I am asking this. Uh, study habits and intelligence on because the two independent variables I'm just keeping on that uh, another variable is an achievement. Okay, so in this two independent variable, one dependent. As you know that 
when you go with the regression analysis, you have only one dependent variable. You cannot use the more than uh, one. Only one dependent variable. But independent variable, if it is increasing one or two, one is maybe simple regression. If it increasing two or more, is called multiple regression. But the basic assumption that dependent variable only one only. This is in conditions. That's the reason I say just put study habits and the intelligence on achievement. The first achievement is there dependent. Just clicking enter. Now the Julie is thinking. Julie is thinking now. Now we can see the intercept. Intercept we know that what is called intercept like on the constant value 71.16 and R square value F statistics everything is given that the summary also the while intelligence shows trend towards the significant neither predictor strongly explain the achievements in the data sets right I am asking this regression equation also okay provide the regression equation equation for the above. So, I am asking this regression equation. Previously, it gives the regression, the interpretation only. But I need a regression equation. See this regression equation? What is the regression equation? Achievement is equal to 71.64 plus 0 0.0086 times of study habits plus 0 0.015 times of intelligence. You are able to find this? It is called regression equation. And you are getting this interpretation also down. Suppose I need a scatter diagram. Just ask this scatter diagram. Scatter diagram, then intelligence, intelligence, and another one is achievement. Okay, you can specify what you want. Everything is a prompting. Everything is a prompting. Now the scatter diagram also is started to draw. Once again, I am already explained this. This is running with R. Yeah, now you can see the scatter plot. Wow, you are getting the scatter plot. Right? So, this way, this particular tool is may helping us a lot for do the data analysis. Particularly, is good for the those people not be much comfortable with data analysis, the software. Everything is working with AA now. This is called AA data analysis tools. Um, if, I am just going to show the other options also. There is a data explorer. There is an outline. Even if you want to take a notes, you can take a notes along with this. There is a outline. There is a notes. Suppose you want to share, you can click share and I can share to the people. With your collaborator research, you want to share, you can share it. So this way, this particular tool helping us to do the data analysis. Right? You can ask any prompting. Suppose I need a histogram. Go with the histogram with NPC. The variable intelligence, achievement, and um, study habits. I'm just uh, asking this: the three histograms. Only what we must know that in which condition we can use to do that analysis. If you know the basic understanding about the data analysis, we can do the wonder. We can get all kind of histogram, all kind of diagram, graphic representation with this. So, I will now generate the histogram to study habits to complete the set of distributions. Yeah, now you can see this a wonderful histogram. Study habits and frequency. So, suppose I want to know the, the calculation, uh, correlation between the variables. Just click this. Even if you want to find the identifier, click the identifier. These are things default is providing. Explore the relation between study habits and achievement and just clicking this. Even if you are not much aware of what kind of IPOS testing is possible, it automatically suggesting for this data set, this or the research question may be possible or this or the IPOS possible and you can just write run this. Now, you can see this the results comes the college equation between study habits and achievement scores approximately 0 0.16. This value indicates very weak positive relationship. There will be a very uh, weak positive relation between the two variables. So, this way we can do this data analysis with this software. As already mentioned, these are the core functions natural language data analysis, data uh, import integrations. This particular tool is supporting with the CSV file, the Excel file, Google Sheets, the SQL database. Any kind of data sets you can upload in any format. And data cleaning, as already mentioned, this when you upload a data with 1000 or 10,000, I mean, basically the limitation, I mean, free which I have some limitation in case of data set. But it showing this whether the data sets type clearly, whether you type wrongly, these are the things which may be giving the clarity. 
visual uh, data visualization possible and statistic analysis has already done it demonstration all kind of data is possible but you must know how to ask a prompt this only the basic understanding if you are having this we can do the wonder so with this and stop my today's presentation today we are discussing the tools called julius.ae so whenever you free just like to explore it